Hey there! In this video, I wanted to show off a build I've been slow to share for about a year now. It's a 3D printed suncatcher. It uses clear, 3D filament to frame pieces of diffraction grating and builds into a sunburst shape. Once it's hanging in the sun, the magical rainbow film projects all these awesome prismatic light beams everywhere. Check it out! Like most of my projects, I started in Fusion 360. The design is made by utilizing some of the parametric features in Fusion 360 to create and edit the form. I may post a screen share of the Fusion 360 design process in a separate video if enough people ask for it. Let me know in the comments. Once the design was finalized, I used Simplify 3D to generate the G-code and toolpath for my 3D printer. I'm using a modified Monoprice Maker Select Plus 3D printer with a 0.4mm nozzle and clear PLA filament. The parts were designed to lay flat on the bed while they were printing. Each triangle has a tapered sidewall that creates the dimensional shape once the assembly comes together later. To get enough triangles for one star, I needed to repeat the job three times. If anyone has any tips on optimizing parts on your 3D printer's bed, like nesting parts better, I'd love to hear them and cut down on this repetitious process. To glue all the spines together, I'm using a glue called Quick Grab from Beacon. I truly believe it's sacrilege to use glue straight from the tube, and I needed to make sure I didn't have too much excess on each of my spines, so I used a glue syringe to apply this adhesive. Glue gets added to both sides of the bond, then allowed to tack for a few seconds before the parts are joined together. I found it easiest to use these A-clamps or clothespins to hold these parts together while the glue cured for at least 30 minutes. If you do have any overspill from working with an industrial craft adhesive like this, it's actually super easy to clean up with a rubber gum eraser. Once I had seven glued together segments, I was able to assemble the final star shape. The whole design was a little tricky to handle. Maybe in the future I could design a jig to make this part a little easier. The diffraction grating was cut with the help of a Silhouette Curio using an exported drawing from my original Fusion 360 design. This was the first project I ever made using the Curio, but it seems really capable for its little desktop size. The diffraction grating is super sensitive to fingerprints, so I do my best to handle it with gloves when I'm working with it. Using tweezers, each triangle of film is peeled off the sticky cutting mat of the curio and carefully glued into each offset edge of the suncatcher's triangles. I gave this as a gift to a friend, and of course when we were filming it was completely cloudy out. But this does give you an idea of how big the star is and how the diffraction grating looks without any direct sunlight hitting it.
After I left, they sent me this video of the star hanging on a different window. I love the way this thing catches the light and projects rainbows. I can't wait to keep playing around with different kinds of diffraction grading. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. If you have any questions about working in fusion or what it's like to work with diffraction grading, let me know in the comments and I can't wait to see what you make too.